You guys, I am so, so excited about what I am going to do now. This idea came to me in a dream. <laughs> Walter and I love Halloween so much, a ton. See, I'm even in, in honor of this, I'm wearing my Halloween sweater. Love Halloween a ton. We go all out in the yard. Actually, the neighbors talk to us about it all the time. Ask us if we're going to set up this year because their kids request to come over. We've built animatronics. We have a giant skeleton. We have a giant werewolf. All sorts of fun stuff to scare people when they come up to our house while they're trick-or-treating. I was born in October, so that is a huge part of my life. Halloween is a huge part of my life and horror movies. So this year we are switching up our autumn line. Some of the scents that we have will stay, but most of them will be overhauled or taken off the website because we're doing a horror movie line of candles. And I know that's not new. I absolutely know that's not new, but because I love Halloween so much and because Walter loves Halloween, well, my whole family loves Halloween. In honor of that, we are doing a horror movie line. So today I am going to make what I'm going to call Freddy's sweater. And I know it's not even July, almost, but in order to get this fully tested before September, I gotta start now. So we're gonna call this one Freddy's sweater. So this one's gonna take, I want it layered. So it's gonna take a little while to do. Much larger scale, it should be a lot easier. But as, it's, as far as the test candle's concerned, it's going to take some time. I've already got my candle wicked. We're going with a bigger wick. It's become a necessity for some of the candles, is especially the fall scents, they need bigger wicks. Doing it in three layers, two green and one red. I'm going to measure out my fragrance oil for the first layer. I have a pot of boiling water waiting right here um, to keep it warm while I stir it because that little wax in a pour pitcher will make it cool down way faster than it needs to. I need 7.41 grams of fragrance oil for this first layer. And all my wax is already warmed up. So I am, this first layer is going to be super fast. Also, I know I've said in previous videos that soy wax doesn't like to be overcolored. Freddy's sweater is a deep dark green and red. So I kind of need it to be a little bit dark. So I'm pushing it. If I have to, I, that's why I'm using these big two ounces because if the coloring works out, fragrance throws and everything, then we'll stick with that coloring. If it doesn't, then I have the option to make another one. So I'm super excited about that. But you guys, I, 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 I can't even tell you how freaking excited I am to get this, <laughs> to get this going, because I love, love, love Halloween. So I'm super excited. So I'm gonna go grab, it's nearly 100 grams of wax. I'm gonna go grab that really fast and stir it in. I'll be back. Okay, we've got it. It's all set. Now it is time to pour this in. I'm gonna try to avoid the wick. I didn't even think of that, so. Okay. All right, there is the first layer. I'm gonna let it cool or most, I'm moving this way too much. I'm gonna let this mostly cool and then we'll go in for our second layer.
This candle is more than likely going to frost because of how much color I put in here. So on the, around the outside, it probably won't look so pretty, but I just wanted to see how far I can push the limits of the color. So this is what we're looking at now. It's gonna be green, red, green, Freddy's sweater, and I will be back in two weeks with an update as soon as I'm able to test it. Look out for that in about two weeks. Okay, bye.